The last time your sink burst, what did you do? Call the plumber or whip out your phone and look at a video on YouTube? If you turn to YouTube for answers, you are not alone. According to a recent survey, YouTube now has 2.6 billion active users who watch over a billion hours of video a month, effectively making the platform the second largest search engine after Google. Now, from videos on how to unclog a drain to your favorite K-pop act eating stinky tofu, anything you want to watch is just one simple click away on YouTube. Today, let's take a deep dive into the evolution of this groundbreaking piece of technology. Hello, I'm Megan. Thank you for joining us on Fun Day Investigation. It might be hard to imagine, but there was a time before YouTube. Back then, people manually searched the internet for funny videos waited for interesting clips to show up in their email inboxes or illegally downloaded content from sites like Napsters. Thus, the process of getting what you wanted was very slow, inefficient, and unreliable. Legend has it that the inspiration for YouTube came when three former PayPal employees, Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Jod Kareem, couldn't find a video of Janet Jackson's infamous 2004 Super Bowl halftime show, The Wardrobe Malfunction. This sad state of affair told them that the world needed a platform where anyone could share anything on one single website. Equipped with computer science and programming skills picked up at PayPal, the trio finished building the platform a year later and named it YouTube. A compound of word you, which represented the site's focus, user-generated content, and tube, another word for television. YouTube's inaugural video titled Me at the Zoo was a simple 18-second clip of Jod Curran standing in front of elephants at San Diego Zoo. Even though the video itself was nothing special, it has been viewed over 265 million times because it now represents the start of an extraordinary revolution in the way that people consume and create content. Back when YouTube launched in 2005, the platform was not as polished and sophisticated as it is today. The interface was basic and the video quality was poor, Moreover, users had to step through mountains of content that were irrelevant to them just to find something they wanted to watch. But in June 2005, YouTube began to gain traction. The platform started to give users a unique link for each video that could now be uploaded from a variety of formats. This allows users to share videos on other websites such as MySpace, which at the time was one of the largest social networks in the world. Allowing people to upload and share their content seamlessly helped create early viral sensations such as Charlie bit my finger, which led to an explosion of new YouTube users. Despite this early success, the founders of YouTube ran into a few devastating setbacks that their background in computers couldn't resolve. First, they lack the business experience to generate revenues from ads. But more importantly, they were indulged with countless lawsuits after three major record labels. Universal Music, Sony Interactive Entertainment, and Warner Music Group sued them for copyright infringement. Therefore, they were decided they were in over their heads and sold YouTube to Google for $1.65 billion in 2006. Unlike traditional media platforms, YouTube empowers small-time creators to distribute their content all over the world. In addition, the platform has incentivized the creation of high-quality videos through the YouTube Partner Program, which allows popular creators to earn money through ad revenue. Early full-time content creators known as YouTubers like Smosh, Judson Lively, and Brokers started earning over six-figure incomes from their videos. Such lucrative payouts has made becoming a YouTuber the most desired career options for young people today.
In addition, YouTube has helped countless independent artists in more traditional fields such as music, film, and comedy gain recognition and build a following by uploading their content directly onto the internet. Thanks to the relative ease of creating, distributing, and monetizing content, there are now countless niches on YouTube that cater to every audience imaginable. YouTube's influence has also had negative consequences. The news industries has suffered as a result of YouTube's popularity. Some critics have said many traditional news outlets have had to become more sensational and less nuanced to survive against YouTube's algorithm that promotes polarizing and extreme content. In some cases, this has led to the spread of disinformation in a variety of fields from medicines to politics to disaster responses and sexual health. For instance, during the pandemic, many people criticized YouTube for promoting conspiracy theories against vaccines. Even though YouTube said it tackles this by employing AI and fact-checking teams, users in certain parts of the world can't access videos on specific sensitive topics such as the Tiananmen Square incident. As such, critics have said YouTube's infringement on freedom of speech reflects a latent political agenda. The future of YouTube striking balance between protecting free speech and limiting extreme content because other social media platforms such as TikTok are threatening YouTube's dominance. In 2021, TikTok's emphasis on short clips coupled with highly effective suggestions algorithm helped the platform overtake YouTube's in terms of average watch time. YouTube has transformed the entertainment industry and given the public access to almost anything imaginable. However, YouTube's platform on the internet is now in jeopardy, as young people flock to newer platforms such as TikTok. Only time will tell if YouTube can survive in an internet of short, rapid-fire videos or if YouTube will become the next MySpace.